work on yourself work on yourself because if you don't work on yourself you are going to spend your whole life waiting on people to make things happen for you you're gonna spend your whole life depending on people for food for money for happiness for success for education for anything work on yourself more than you work on anything and on anyone because if you become better you attract better things if you know how to do things if you know how to solve problems you can make money by you solving problems so work on yourself point the finger at you i know it's easy right it's easy to sit down and to look at what other people are doing wrong the mistake of other people the failure of other people however you looking at what other people are doing it's not going to change your life as much as if you look at what you are doing. Because it's easy to see the mistake of other people. But do you see your own mistakes? It's easy to see what other people are doing wrong, are saying wrong, are having wrong. But do you know what are you doing wrong? What are you saying wrong? What are you acting wrong? Work on yourself so you can become the main person that you go to for happiness. So you can become the main person you go to for success so you can become the main person you go to for peace for happiness for joy for health work on yourself why imagine you have a problem and you cannot even solve your own problems that you need your friends your parents your associate you're gonna go get your classmate you're gonna go look for somebody in the internet you're gonna go look for somebody outside in the street you are imagine if you cannot solve your own problems then are you truly in charge of your life are you responsible of your life? Work on yourself. Because you know, you know yourself more than anyone. Because you know that, you know the things I, the, you know the things you are doing that are keeping you poor, are keeping you unhappy, are keeping you miserable, are keeping you weak. You know the things you are doing that are keeping, that are making you stay away from your goals, away from from your dreams away from what it is that you want to achieve you know those things because whenever you do something and you see you you see a reaction you can analyze because when you do something you receive something in change it can be good we can be bad because all your actions are going to produce a reaction and if you do something or you say something or you think something and the reaction you receive is not the one that pleases you is not the one that benefits you that's an indicator that you must change whatever it is that you did or you said or that you thought. Work on yourself. For example, me, I made a mis I made a mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake because mistakes are simply life experiences. I embrace, I love, and I cherish all my mistakes, and all my failures. Years ago, I used, to, I used to think that oh no, I need a camera to start a YouTube channel. I was like oh, I want to post videos. I want to post workout videos, but. I don't have a camera, so no, I, should, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't post workout videos, I shouldn't record videos because I don't have a professional camera. I need a professional microphone so my videos can look good, so I, so I can start my journey of expressing myself or sharing my ideas, so, so I can start my journey of empowering people, motivating people, educating people. And because of that mistake, I waited. I sat down. I wasn't recording no video because I was like, oh no, I'm going to have the camera. I'm going to wait. I'm going to save money so I, until I have the camera. If I don't have the camera, I can't make money. If I don't have the camera, I can't make the videos. If I, don't, if I don't have the camera, I can't do the workout videos. That mistake cost me months of sitting down without actually creating or producing something. But the moment I was like, hey, no, 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 no. You keep waiting for two months. You wait the next two months, you're gonna receive the same things. You don't wanna have no YouTube videos. You know, you're gonna create nothing. So I change it up. And I told myself, you're gonna record those videos with what it is that you have. Your phone, period. I told myself, see, I work on myself. And with my phone, I started recording all, all the videos you have seen from me until this day. Has always been recorded with my phones. Whatever phone I have at that moment, at that time, at that year, that's what I record. And currently I have two, 243K followers on TikTok and I have 2.26K on YouTube. Only because of my phone. Now imagine if I didn't work on myself to get out of that attitude, out of that mindset of waiting to have the camera. Imagine if I didn't work on myself, you wouldn't be watching this video. Work on yourself so you can be the, your main provider. 
So you can be the one that brings you happiness, that brings you joy, that brings you health, that brings you success, that brings you money. You can be watching this video and you cannot feed yourself. You can't even motivate yourself. You can't even empower yourself. You can't even love yourself. You can't even solve your own problems. Then why are you doing with your own life? Work on yourself. So you can see what are you doing wrong. And you can fix the things you are doing wrong. Point the finger at you. Because it's nobody's fault if you are poor. It's nobody's fault if you are stupid, if you are ignorant. It's nobody's fault if you are unhappy. It's nobody's fault if you are weak. It's nobody's fault but you. Another story about myself. I was bullied in high school. And actually that was one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. During that time, what I was doing, I was, I was blaming the people that were bullying me. I was blaming them for me being quiet, for me hiding myself, for me not thinking that I can do anything, for me seeing myself low, for me doubting myself, for me not believing in myself. I used to blame them. Because I was like, oh, oh, well, since they are bullying me, so, so because of what they are doing, I'm feeling this way, I'm acting this way, I'm thinking this way, which was false. It was on me to blame. Because no matter the amount of bully they were doing to me, I could have choose to, to love myself. I could have choose to not listen to them. I could have choose to not let their opinion be stronger than their own opinion I have of my own life. But I didn't, which I learned from it. But whenever I was, oh, well, hold on, they are saying this about me, but I can choose not to listen to them. Hold on, they are telling me this, but I can choose not to listen to them. They are saying that I can do, I can do this, but if I try, I can do it. They are telling me that something is wrong with my hair, something is wrong with my body, something is wrong with my voice, something is wrong with how I dress. So I prioritize their opinion. Why do I prioritize their opinions when I can prioritize my own? Again, I pointing the finger at me. Every single time you can point the finger at you and take ownership of whatever situation, whatever circumstances you are in, your life is going to change for the better. Because you are the only person you can control. You are the person you can you are the only person you can manage. You are the only person you can change. Not other people. Instead of me being like, oh, they are bullying me, so it's their fault. Let me try to change them so they can be nice to me, so they can be kind of me. That was the waste of time. I simply point the finger at me and I change myself and those bullies and now you see me nowadays talking making this video you see how confident I am because I am confident no matter if you believe it or not you cannot believe that I was bullied once but the reason why you cannot tell unless I tell you unless I share that story with you is because I have work on myself more than anything more than anyone whenever I'm suffering the first person I, I blame for is me Whenever I'm failing, making a mistake, whenever, if I don't have money, if I don't have food, if I'm crying, if I'm smiling, the first person I question is me. The first person I look for to give me answers is me. Why? Because nobody knows me as much as I know me. Nobody spends the same amount of time you spend with yourself. Nobody knows you as much as you know yourself. Nobody goes to sleep with you. All, all nights you were, since you were born, but you. Work on yourself and you work on yourself so you can become self-sufficient, so you can provide for yourself. So whatever is going on in the, in the economic market, you can still make money. So whatever is going on with your relationship or with your friend or your family, you can still be happy. Why? Because you can work on yourself enough that outside things no longer affect you. Why? Because you have work on yourself. It's your responsibility, your happiness your success, your education, and your responsibility. To all of you that are still going to school, university, high school, kindergarten, whatever you are going to school for, do not rely on the formal education to educate you. Do not rely on your degree to be successful, to be happy, or to make money. Because a degree is simple, a piece of paper. Rely on yourself. Rely on your mindset. Rely on your skills to make money, to be happy, or to be successful. Because why also don't you think that that the formal education has been around for years? The same education people 30 years ago was receiving is the same one people today are receiving for what? If the school system, the formal education, hasn't been renewed, 
to adjust to the current event, the current difficulties, the current problems, the, the current ideas. That education is not that education. It's simply a way to keep people in the same place, to keep people in the same level of, of mind, the same level of education. That's why I don't write my education. Do I go to school? Yes. Probably you have seen on any of my videos what I show. My honors, I show that I got ready with honors. I show my GPA. I have the highest GPA. I'm, I am an excellent and amazing student. I'm not saying this to brag about myself. I'm simply saying facts about myself. I'm an amazing student. You can ask any of my professors, any of my classmates. However, you can remove all the degrees I have. You can remove all my, all my grades from school. You can remove all the things that I have received from the formal education. And guess what? I will still be the smart person I am the educated person I am, the knowledgeable person I am. Why? Because I do not rely on the school system for my education. I do not rely on any system, on any person, on any culture, on any religion, on any politician or anything for my education. I rely on myself. If there is something I want to know, it's on me to know it. If there is something I want to learn, it's on me to learn it. If there is something I want to improve, it's on me to do it. If there is something I want to change, it's on me to change it. Why? Because I point the finger at myself. Point the finger at you, not other people, because you cannot change other people. You cannot change other people, but you can change yourself. Work on yourself because you can choose to spend five, ten years focusing on one skill, on one idea, one business, one goal, one dream. You can choose to, from the, from the, from the hour you get up, from the hour you go to sleep, only talking to yourself, listening to yourself, look, analyzing the things you did in the past, having self-reflection, and nobody can stop you from you working on yourself. Nobody can tell you, or like, oh no, and if whoever try to stop you from you working on yourself, that's someone that does not want to see you happy, does not want to see you better, does not want to see you doing better. Work on yourself. Do you have a skill? Make that skill better. Do you have a passion? Make that passion more passionate. Do you have a dream? Invest in that dream every single second. Do you have a goal? Invest in that goal every single minute of your life. But work on yourself so you can improve yourself. Work on yourself so you, so you can be your main source of happiness, your main source of joy, your main source of peace. No matter how much you love your family or your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, kids, those people are not, they cannot be 27. They cannot be forever consistently at every time, every second, every minute with you. But you are every time, every single, every minute, every hour, every month, every decade, every year with you. You, you are consistently with you. So work on yourself so you can be the person that you love. So you can, person, you can be the person that takes you out of your misery, out of your problems, out of your trouble. trouble. Work on yourself so you can be the one creating and building the life you want for yourself without the need of other people. Work on yourself so you can know who you truly are. Do you know, do you know your flaws? Do you know, do you know the, 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 your mistakes? Do you know your fears? Do you know your traumas? Have you healed from your traumas? Do you know why are you the way you are? Do you know why do you think the way you think? Do you know why do you behave the way you behave? Do you truly and fully know who you truly are? If you don't, guess what? It's time to sit down for years, for months, without doing nothing by working on yourself. I posted a video on my YouTube channel a long time, and long time ago of how I spent, I think it was five years without sex. People were like, what? First reaction, people even sent me DMs. Five years without sex, well, are you okay? Were you sick? Oh my God, you crazy. How did you, how did you do that? In those five years, I was reading like crazy. I was working out like crazy. I wasn't spending my time with nobody. Unless, if, unless you are family, unless you are friend, you're not going to see me around nowhere. You're not going to see me in no restaurant. You're, gonna, you're not going to see me at no party. You're not going to see me outside of where I want to be. In those five years, that's where I, I built my foundation. A lot of you ask me, right, how are you so confident? How are you so disciplined? How are you so consistent? I work. I wasn't born this way. I work on myself consistently. 
to be this way. I work on myself so whenever I made a mistake anywhere I am, before anybody tell me that, hey, you made this mistake, I can be aware that I already made the mistake. So I can be aware of my emotions, aware of my thoughts, aware of my ideas. I work on myself. Are you working on yourself? Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself someone that you respect, someone that you are proud of? I respect myself. Why? Because it's been, I think now, probably four years, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that I have been getting up at 5 a.m. Every, every day to work out, at 4 a.m. every day to work out. I'm not talking. You, there is proofs. If you know me, you have lived with me, you have seen me getting up every day at 5 a.m. to go work out. That gives me enough reason to respect myself because of how I see myself committing. I respect myself because I have put myself in uncomfortable situations and I still go to those situations. I have been in a situation where people are making fun of me and I still stand right there. I have been in a situation where I have to work with people who are making me feel less. People who are making fun of me. People who think that I'm not good enough and I still ride there and I still stay focused on getting the job done. I respect myself because I have put myself in situations where the level of tension was high. Where I was, I was so, so uncomfortable, but I still been there because every time I went to an uncomfortable situation, I realized how strong I become. That's why I respect myself. That's why I love myself. That's why I believe in myself. That's why I'm proud of myself. Why? Because I have done multiple things several times. I have given my mind. I have given my soul. I have given my heart enough proofs to love me, to support me, to believe in me, and to be proud of me. What about you? Do you love yourself? Do you believe in yourself? Do you invest in yourself? Are you proud of yourself? Are you someone you look up to? If you are not, then truly and fully, are you happy with your life? If you are not someone you look up to, can you achieve your goals? Can you achieve your dreams? I don't think so. You got to look up to yourself. And if you don't look up on, to yourself right now, guess what? It's time to start doing things. Not saying things, but doing things. Because you can, oh no, I love myself, I support myself, I believe in myself. But you do nothing to prove that you love yourself. You do nothing to prove that you believe in yourself. You do nothing to prove that you actually are proud of yourself. My consistent actions over the years have given me proof to myself that I am who I say I am. I work on myself. I work on myself and I am honest with myself. I know I'm not good at this thing, but I can get better. I know I said this thing and it was wrong. Let me correct it. Let me fix it. I know there are certain things I'm not knowledgeable. I know my own ignorance. I can say with proud, hey, I don't know how to do this. Teach me. Hey, I don't know how to do this. Show me. Why? Because... I am not ashamed of my ignorance. Why? Because I am a student of life. Because in every situation I am in, any situation I am in, any circumstance, no matter who's around, no matter if I'm happy or if I'm unhappy, no matter if I'm struggling or if I'm smiling, I can always find something to learn from whenever I am. Work on yourself more than you work on anyone. Work on yourself so you can be a happiness machine, so you can be a money machine, so you can be a peace machine. Work on yourself so every time you have a problem, the first thing you say is, I'm going to solve it. So every time you make a mistake, the first thing you say is, let me learn the lesson. So every time you are suffering, you are in pain, you are broken, the first thing you can say or the first thing you can think of is you. Learning from your pain is you taking yourself out of that pain, out of that struggle. Work on yourself so you can be the one creating and building the life you want for yourself. Work on yourself so you can, you can look at yourself every day with pride, with love, with admiration, with peace. Work on yourself so you can be the one healing yourself. Most 
all of the I can say most of the time, as the time as I can remember, every time I have fallen sick, which I don't think that is such a sickness or disease, because this is simply means being out of peace, out of flow, out of you, out of your uniqueness, out of love. This is. I ask myself, what, what, what did I eat? What did I say? What did I think of that I'm now feeling this way? Why? Because I work on myself and I'm allowing myself to question my own thoughts. Because I'm aware of how powerful my thoughts are. I'm aware of how powerful my words are. Because with your consistent thoughts, you can create your reality. You can make your own self sick and you can heal yourself. You can make your, your own self successful or you can keep your own self unsuccessful just because of your thoughts. Because your consistent thoughts are producing something that sooner or later are going to come to your, to your reality. Because your consistent words are producing something that sooner or later are going to come to your reality. That's why if, if you have ever heard me talking about myself, I always talk positivity about myself health about myself success about myself happiness about myself it's gonna it's almost impossible for you to hear me say anything negative to anyone or to myself no matter where i am if 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 i even notice that anything negative wants to come out of my mouth i keep my mouth quiet because words create reality Thoughts create reality. So if you have ever if you have ever wondered why do I always talk high and positive about myself, it's because first of all, because I love myself, because I care about myself, and because I know how powerful my words are. And I have been in situations, scenarios where whenever I'm talking high about myself, people call me cocky, people call me arrogant. But guess what? I don't care. I absolutely don't care. I tell myself, oh Christina, you you look you look at you you are a goddess look at you you beautiful because look at me i look good i think good i behave good i'm good i'm a goddess don't you see this whole caramel like this is me this is me that's this is how i see myself i'm beautiful i'm i'm strong i'm wise i'm kind i'm positive i'm anything beautiful anything positive i am i work on myself do I struggle? Yes, but I don't give up. Do I cry? Yes, but I don't give up. Do I make mistakes? Yes, but I don't quit. Do I fail? Yes, but I do not quit. Work on yourself. Work on your skills. Do not depend on your degree to make money or to be successful or to be happy. Depend on yourself. Do not rely on your family. Do not rely on your friends. Do not rely on your church. Do not rely on your government for your happiness, for your success, or for your empowerment. Rely on yourself every single day. Work on yourself more than you work on anything. Work on yourself more than you work on anyone. So you can be the person creating and building the life you want for yourself. Work on yourself, and it, it is, it's the hard thing to do, right? Because since you know yourself more than anyone, now to, to go with yourself and talk to yourself and tell yourself the things you're doing wrong, it can be painful, but guess what? That pain is necessary. Because the pain can teach you, the pain can build you, the pain, the pain can empower you. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Become the person that can create and that can build the life you want for yourself. Become the person that make you the most happy, the most successful, the most healthy, the most at peace. Become that person for yourself. And how do you become that person? By working consistently on you. By educating yourself, by loving yourself, by supporting yourself, by spending time with yourself. Work on yourself. You are the best investment you can ever make. Because if you grow, if you become better, the things you are going to attract are going to be better. I'm here, outside nature, barefoot, as always. Work on yourself. You, you will ever, ever regret it. Work on yourself so you can write your own checks. Work on your own self so you can think about something 
and make it happen. Work on yourself so you don't have to rely on people for permission to be happy, permission to travel, permission to dress as you want, talk as you want, go wherever you want to go, live whenever you want to live. Work on yourself more than you work on anyone, more than you work on anything. Because you are with you forever. Work on yourself so you can become and you can be consistently the type of person that can create and that can build the life you want for yourself. And you can become that person. But you don't want to become that person by blaming at other people or blaming the circumstances or, or blaming your parents, your religion, social media. No. You become that person by blaming who? Blame your mindset. Blame your action. Blame your habits. Blame your thoughts. Blame your words. Blame your behaviors. Blame yourself. Point the finger at you. Because you are the only one in charge of you. Work on yourself.